For the Cossack squat, what we're doing is we are focusing a lot on building single leg strength, but also the other leg has to develop mobility as well. So this is very similar to the lateral lunge. The only difference is that you're going a little bit deeper. And as a result, you're having to make some modifications with the other parts of your body. So I'm going to go through with this step by step so that you can see each of the steps. So the first thing that you're going to do is start off with a tall posture. You're going to widen your base of support, maybe about two times whatever your hip, hip width is. And then you're going to pick a side to start off with. Now you go at this very similar to the way that you would do a lateral lunge. The only difference is the further you go, you turn your other leg out, as you notice over here, and then you sit further into the squat. So the idea is here, you're developing that single leg strength, very similar to a split squat or even a pistol squat, and then you're lengthening the other side. So then you come off to the other side and you complete the rep. And the benefit of this is that you're building balance, you're building strength, you can even build power depending on how you structure the tempo and the explosivity of the, of the movement. You can also add, you know, weight in the goblet position. You can do front rack. You can be creative with this. And that way you can scale up. Now, if you wanted to scale down and modify the movement, you can do something very simple. Right behind me is a plyo box. All you have to do is add something underneath you and that will reduce the amount of distance that you have to travel. Otherwise, what you can do is add something like a dowel rod where you're holding it down in the middle. So you hold it, you sit into it, and then you're able to complete the range. The other thing that you can do is use a TRX. So if you have those available, then those would be great tools to modify. Enjoy.